Hi, Joshua Farnsworth here, and I wanted to just share a quick method for cutting rabbits. So rabbits are used for a lot of things uh, in furniture, a lot of joints, uh, picture frames, a whole a whole variety of things. Uh, at, but they sometimes can be kind of difficult to actually get started. So I'm going to share a trick that I learned uh, using just simply a marking gauge and a shoulder plane, whether large or medium, and a rabbit plane, like this rabbit block plane or a wooden rabbit plane or something else that cuts rabbits or a combination plane. So let's get started. So you can see I started out here marking with the marking gauge where I wanted my rabbit to go. This is particularly useful if you're cutting moldings by hand uh, with hollows and rounds to take off a big chunk before you put in the hollow or whatnot. So, uh, and after you've got this all laid out, this is where your shoulder plane is going to go. Now, the problem is, is it's hard to just get it going and get even in there. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tilt this slightly and come out from the line a little bit. But one thing I discovered that helps to make it a little bit easier is to create aside from your scribe line here to, to create one just inside of it like this this one that I just created so you can see the pencil line is where I want to actually go and then this this line that's in here is where we're gonna let the plane start off in and then we'll clean it up later on so scribe that that next line right there and then it's kind of hard to see but you want to let the shoulder plane, the edge of the shoulder plane, rest in that little groove and just uh, front front to back and just tilt it and let it start cutting its groove. So now you can see my little notch it's cut down at an angle there it goes all the way to the back so now what I can do is I can start turning the shoulder plane at more of a straight up and down angle so now I can flatten it up and focus more on this side. So now I can set this this rabbit plane in. Now that I've got a spot to do it, I take off some more beefy cuts. So you want to constantly watch the lines along the side and in the front and the back because it's quite often to go quite often happens that you get off of your line and you just need to adjust and do a little more back here or a little more up there or tilt your angle a little bit. That's why you want that extra buffer. Make sure you don't go over it. Just keep watching. So it looks like I'm just about down to the line there and there and there. And I was I had planned unevenly, so I had to go back and do a little more back here and then take full strokes. But it's looking pretty good. So now you'll take the shoulder plane. This is a medium shoulder plane by Lee Nelson. Uh, I'll share a link with it. And you just now that this is flat, then you can it will it will rest so you can cut the shoulder here. And the same thing goes is you may need to do a little more up here than back here. So just watch your lines. Keep your head over the top of your work. I've got more to take off up here in the front than in the back. And just work your way back. All right, so you can see that we pretty much got it down to our lines. And now you've got a rabbit joint. You can stick your glass in if you're using picture frames or, or whatever. So uh, 
I hope this has been helpful. Make sure you check out my 10 steps to getting started in traditional woodworking. It's a free resource for anyone wanting to get into traditional woodworking with hand tools. So thanks so much for watching.